Okay, what's up guys? It's your boy the PFA Games here. Welcome to yet again the ninth is it the ninth? Yeah, the ninth episode of this Arsenal career mode. You guys have been interested in the last two episodes. You guys have really enjoyed it previously. So keep the support up and keep going. I really want to get this channel going. Hopefully by the end of the year I want to get this channel to like 50 subs at some point. So yeah, I appreciate your support. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're currently at second place. There's still level one points with Manchester United. It's been such a cagey affair between both of us, literally been between us two at the top. Um, so for this episode, we've got some two really important matches against PSV Eindhoven, who were playing in the group stages. So, I know so we've got... Uh, this youth academy player that has changed positions Gutierrez, as I said before look, we're going to change into a striker and look, he's already 64 rated um, the development plan, plan what do we plan to give him? let's just give him poetry, let's get that shooting as high as possible and then we've got this uh, another youth scout from Spain I'm not really seeing much talent, this guy looks okay but we'll wait and see and this guy's trash And then we've got another one from the Netherlands. Gills Maya, not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah, not I'm not seeing much from the Netherlands, I can't lie. Don't need the goalkeeper, it's fine. And then the last one. England. Come on, there's someone there should be someone good. His overall is not good enough for me. Aiden Farmer, what name? Everyone's tr okay, this guy's good. Alex Johnson. This guy's looks this guy looks decent. Okay, cool. 58 rated. Mad physicals. Stro well, center forward. Great physical stats. Technicals. Not the best. Could pretty much play in different positions. Ah, shit. He's injury prone. 6 foot 2. Big guy. You know what? I think we'll make him a striker. We'll make him a striker at some point. I don't know. He just has the correct build i know you could play in like midfield and cd uh, even center back really but i just want to make him uh, i just want to make him a striker because i feel like he'll be wasted with those physical attributes yeah look his defending's better but nah i want him i want him to get goals for us okay so we go into this game against aston villa we're with our main starting 11 but it's in midfield but yeah let's just see how we do Gonna play the highlights. All right, so look at the beautiful Emirates Stadium. See us coming out. So Aston Villa kick us off at the start of the match. All right, so we've got the current attacking situation in the 16th minute. So Odegaard has it now. It's a beautiful touch. By him. Plays it into Jesus. Looking for Saka, who's out wide. Again, cutting inside, looking for options. Beautiful pass to Jesus, takes the shot, but the goalkeeper saves it. So in the 27th minute, we're in another counter-attacking situation right here. Sinchenko now controls it beautifully. Drives into space, plays a beautiful ball to find Jesus. Jesus is through on goal. Is he going to score? Ah, oh, and he saves it again, the same direction. Why do we keep going near post? I don't know why they, they do it. Alright, Saka now has it. He plays it down to Jesus. Back to Saka. Oh, that's a beautiful finish. Round the goalkeeper. Finesse shot. He had no chance. Pretty similar to a lot of the goals he scores in real life. He tends to score to cut inside a lot more and shoot. But it's a beautiful goal. Great one too. And you can see the crowd going wild. And this goalkeeper's guy had no idea who he is. So the crossing opportunity for us again. 49th minute. He's in Trenko on it right now. So we're going to look to cross it in. Finding Saka. Saka controls it well. But straight out the goalkeeper. So in the 55th minute, Aston Villa finally have, a, have the ball to themselves. So Cristante on the ball. Tries to play it through to Danny Ings. Danny Ings holds it up. Finding Leon Bailey. 
Liam Bailey tries to play it through to Coutinho, but it was a simple pass to defend against. So they've got another Aston Villa on the attack again, 17th minute. Coutinho on it right now. Tomiyasu, please get back. Ah, plays it into him, but it's a good save. Right, so the 83rd minute, maybe the final counter attack of the game. Thomas Party on the ball, driving in space. He finds Jesus making a good run. He's going to cut it back inside, finds Party again. Ah, it took too long to get the shot. And that's the end of the game. Solid 1 0 performance. We're the much better side for him. We, we'll be able to get a lot more chances in the in the highlights. But that's the thing I noticed about um, highlights. You don't tend to score a lot of goals. You don't really get many opportunities to really dominate a game, even if you're playing well. And look at Jesus. He's been killing it, man. 19 goals already this season. Alright, so. We, we go so we go into the Europa League against PSV round of 16 and also you've got these other matches as well Bayern Munich are in the Europa League as well damn and Chelsea obviously as well, are in there as well all right so we've got this highlight situation against PSV I think what we'll do is we'll do the highlights for this game and then we'll play the full match and we'll really determine um, the tie so yeah let's get into it Huge match against PSV. Well, way. We're not going to have many chances to score. But let's see what we can do. Alright, so we've got a free kick. Martin, Martin Odegaard's on it. I think from about 25, 24 yards out. Uh, you can see the man trying to block us from scoring underneath the wall. But I ain't going for that, obviously. He goes for the shot, hits the wall. And you've got to say Not the best of free kicks. Okay, so we've got a great solo run opportunity. We have to score this, literally. There's no one in front of us. We have to score this. Jesus is on the ball now. He's in acres of space. And of course, he ain't going to miss that. He mad. If we miss that, I'll sub him off. And that's a, that's a thing also as well, like... They'll give you these easy opportunities sometimes where you're just throwing goal and there's no one in front of you. I think what they should kind of do is they should they should help you actually be involved involved in the build up at times. Alright, so PS3 have it now. Finding De Jong back to Till. Holds the ball up well. Got past his man, Madueke. He's so tricky on the ball. That's a good tackle. Smith are on it now. Free kick to us. No, not free. Yeah, free kick. 73rd minute. Yeah, it's just whipping in. Or should we play it short? Yeah, we play it short. Saka into party. Finding Tielemans. Oh, good save. Another crossing opportunity for PSV. Might be the final chance of the game. So Madiweke now on the ball, oh, but he's offside, and yep, and that's a solid, and solid away win, this is huge for us, so we'll be in the ascendancy for the next match, and this is a big advantage for us, I know away goals doesn't really matter, but this just brings a lot of confidence to the team. Alright, here it is man, this is the real deal. We're going to actually be playing the, the full 90 minutes just so that we can just make sure we win this match because it's so vital. Arsenal at home, starting 11 against PSV. So, Odegaard on it. Quick one two between the midfielders. Mudrik now on the ball. Kieran Tini plays it over the top to find Jesus. Knocks it back to Mudrik. Plays it over the top to find Odegaard. But is that far ref or handball? Ah, oh, it's a goal kick. Madrid now on the ball, finds it Odegaard, plays it to Tielemans, Tielemans holds the ball up well. Oh, it's a, go it's a penalty! That's a little bit soft from the keeper, but I'll take from the, from the, it's a little bit soft ref, but I'll take it. Yuri Tielemans gets shot away, and he just gets into him. So, 
penalty situation. Yeah, 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 I don't care about that. You know what? Let's make um Yuri Tillemans take the penalty because he won it himself and he's got good pen, pen stats as well. Alright, where should we go? Maybe top left. Yes! Come on. Huge win for the Gunners. Perfect start. And he's got his goal. Big up Yuri Tillemans, man. Playing mind games with the goalkeeper. I made him go the other way. But he's been prolific. He's been prolific, man. The only thing I don't like about Yuri Tillemans is he's too slow. So like, obviously, I don't really try to drive with him like when he has the ball a lot. But in possession, he's very good, especially when it comes to scoring goals. Okay, so we got this yellow card situation. Plinton Mata again. So we got another free kick from a dangerous situation from Odegaard. But I think you just go for Yuri Tillemans because he's right footed and he's had a good game today. So let's whip it in. Oh, that's so close. Very close, mate. Over the top to find Mudrik, but they have it. Clinton Mata plays it to Sangare. Sangare finding Madueke. Van Gutierrez. Vermin. El Ghazi on the ball. Finding Max. Ah, uh, they showed it really well. Finding De Jong. De Jong with the shot. Hits the bar. And now we can break now. With Mudrik on the ball, finding your other guard. Driving into space. Plays well, it into Jesus. Mudrik finding Odegaard. He's running into space. Oh, he's got the ball. He's thrown goal. Will he get the shot away? Oh, good save from the keeper. Oh, that's a fine save. So, Sako on the ball now. Finding Odegaard. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, he's done it. And Saka finding Jesus. Oh, but the pass is way too heavy, man. Alright, so Mata has it now. Woodwick on the ball. Oh, great back heel. De Jong plays it over the top to El Ghazi. El Ghazi, ball rolls. Oh, that's a good save from the keeper. Ah, oh, we lost it. We lose it. We overran it. Madureke now. Oh, I bet Kieran Tini has it, man. Oh, but we, we keep losing it in these stupid areas. You get the shot away. They've got good save from the keeper. Mat Matty Turner. Saka finding party over the top to find Saka again. Tommy Asu no no ball. Odegaard plays it into Kirantini. He whips it in. Martinelli, great turn. Good save. So we've got a corner. Nah. Nah, let's get Odegaard to take it. I want party to be in the box. He's quite tall. Swip it in. Saka. Party! Yes. Come on. And it's pretty much done, sealed and dusted. I don't think we're conceding three or four goals in this match. And we're pretty much through now. We can celebrate with a Thomas Partey goal. Literally no one marking him. Acres of space. And look, he ain't going to miss that. Obviously not, he ain't going to miss that, is he? Gabriel plays it over the top to find Currentini. Tini to Martinelli. Martinelli plays it to Kirantini. Tini to Martinelli. Straight to Odegaard. He's through. Oh, good goal. Great passing move. Literally, we've been in unstoppable in this match. Which there'll be no match for us. It's crazy because I think they beat us in both in both games, or we weren't able to win in the group stages. And now we've you know we've revenged it. And we've able to knock them out of the group stages. Alright, so we're going to give Odegaard a rest and we're going to bring in Ketty on. Smith Rowe has been complaining recently about not having game time, but I keep playing him. Alright, so Madueke has the ball now. Oh, he's got past him. First time he's done Kirantini in this match. Oh, is he, what's he going to do? He's going to cut it back. And they put it back. It's 3-1. That's a consolation goal. I don't know why he's celebrating like that in the 85th minute. Just pick up the ball. But yeah, that's FIFA for you sometimes. Doesn't, not everything makes sense in this game. But that was a great one from Madureke. I might even consider getting him at some point. Yeah, and that's the end of the match. All in all, very good game. Great game. Very eventful. Special game.
I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next but round. Could have been but better. Be you know, obviously PSV had their shit shit a uh, sheer amount of chances, but we're just way more playing a corner final third. And Yuri Tillemans, man, was the man on the match for me. Yeah, he had a good game today, and of course, took what guy? Well. What a player. He had a big influence on the result. Three one, you know. Alright, so what, let's see what happened in the rest of the matches. So Chelsea beat Freiburg, Rome obviously beat Midtjylland, and pretty much all the teams you'd expect are pretty much through. So we face Roma next game. It's not going to be easy. Jose Mourinho's Roma. It's going to be very difficult. So we go into this game against Chelsea, obviously going with my starting 11. Yuri Tillemans was brilliant, so he's going to start. Thomas Bight is tired, so I'm going to put in Jack for the match. And we should get a good game here. So on the series on the ball, tries to find Correa. They have it now, Jorginho, Gallagher to Correa, finding Chilwell, Chilwell again, flicks back to Correa, Correa creates some space for himself but hits the post. So Martinelli now finding Yuri Tillemans, Vieira now, oh that's a dirty challenge man, on the series, what is that man, should be a yellow. He did barely even got the ball, he just the got him from behind. Alright, Shaka to Vieira. Vieira finding Gabriel. Back into Tielemans. Press tackle. Alright, so Sterling has it now on the ball. Exciting. Finding Correa. Tries to find, uh, I think, Gallagher, but he wins it back. Then he finds Correa again. Ah, oh, that's a powerful shot. And it's a 1-0 it's win to Chelsea. And to be fair, they've been the better team. They've been better side so far. They're creating more of the chances. So, a goal was about to come. Well, here we can see it again. Look, look. He wins it back. One plays it back to him. And, and just, we just couldn't just stop him. From sh he couldn't stop him soon enough. Jesus now on the ball. Tielemans to find Martinelli. Back to Tielemans. Finding Vieira. Ah, Vieira's not right and footed, is he? He's so one footed. Well, it's not a bad effort, and then Ma Havertz got a yellow card. Alright, Curantini finding Martinelli. Martinelli tries to get past his man. Curantini back to Martinelli. Great one, too. Can we cut it back? Yo, where's the pass? Like, bro, play the pass. And Chelsea have it away. We win it back. Mudrick on the ball, finding Martinelli. Finding Vieira, Mudrick, Vieira. Vieira with a shot. That's a block. Alright, so Chelsea have it now in the 27th minute. Another corner to them. They whip it inside. We win it back. Gallagher. But we dispossessed him. But somehow that's a free kick. I'm not sure why. Let's, let's try to stop this free kick. Oh my god, we couldn't even stop it. What a free kick. I'm not even mad at that. That's a perfect, perfect free kick right into the top corner. And this Correa guy is killing it. Bro, look, he can't even believe it himself. Look at him. What a free kick that is. Like, look at this again. 21 yards up from goal. I think that was like a knuckleball, maybe. Side foot it. Look, Xhaka can even stop it. Right into the top corner. Alright, Xhaka finding Mudrick. Mudrick in space, driving at the, 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 the midfield. He's got past Gallagher. Tries to get the shot away, but he's so wide. Great run, though. Poor shot, though. Alright, so we have it now. Vieira has intercepted. On a Siri on the ball, holding it up, finding Jorginho. Plays it down the line to Sterling. Sterling's got past my man. Position. Oh, he's done me. We're in trouble, guys. Just to cut inside. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Oh, it's not a penalty. Oh, he's a penalty. He is a penalty. Saliba just took out Sterling when he didn't even have the ball. Whoa, what the hell are we doing, man? But he doesn't even have the ball and he just took him out. So penalty, yes. Yeah, nice. That is unexcusable. Alright, which way is he going to go? Fuck. Damn it. Long way. It's, two, it's a 3-0 it's no win to Chelsea. And yeah, I can't even deny it. They've been the better side. 
I'm not even gonna complain. And he does that insane break dancing move that barely any players can do in real life. But yeah, it's been all Chelsea so far. I'm not, I'm not even gonna blame them. Well, here we can see it again. It's a good penalty. And yeah, for some reason, I keep forgetting to put um, Ramsdale and go. Lamptey finding Xhaka. Yuri Tillim is now on the ball, finding Martinelli. Martinelli has it. Looks for Vieira. Vieira with the shot. But wins it back. Tillemans now has it. Holds the ball extremely well. Vieira has it now. It's the shot on his left foot. Oh, it's a great goal. Great goal from range. And is there a comeback in the cards now? We've got another we've got another half to go so you never know man don't know if we should be celebrating but there's still a chance to come back from this game but just look at this goal oh wow that was, even, that was his right foot that wasn't even his left that's even more impressive because I'm not sure what his weak foot is but it's impressive so Yuri Tillemans has it plays it short to Vieira Vieira Tries to get the shot away, but the goalkeeper has it comfortably. Sterling on the ball now. Jorginho dispossesses it. We have it now. Vieira, straight to Martinelli. Good turn. Xhaka, Vieira. Martinelli. Finding Tielemans. Plays it down the line to Zinchenko. Back to Martinelli. Finding Vieira. Gets the shot away, but... Okay, guys. Just like last week, just like last episode, I wasn't able to get the rest of the match. And yeah, sadly, we conceded another goal and we ended up losing the game 4-1. So yeah, one of our worst performances of the season. And also, I, I tried to record the, the next game against Brentford and we weren't able to beat that. We were able to beat them 2-0 luckily. But yeah, it's just been gone. this has been an ongoing problem. Not being able to record all the games that I want to get. But let's hopefully, hopefully, we should be able to stop this problem from happening again. Yes, I'm gonna have to stop the episode here. Um, this brings it to end, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are prepared for the next season, uh, the next episode where I think we'll be we'll be playing Roma. That's gonna be a very tight affair. So yeah, keep guys pulled for that, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Alright, peace. <laughs>